welcome to my channel being you now thank you so much for being here beautiful amazing Sag so wonderful to have you here today I'm doing a love reading so I will be looking at the new person that is on your mind that's coming towards you and then I will also be looking at the person on your mind that you already know so it will be this reading will be looking at both those energies so let's start with the new person new person what is the intention of this new person towards my beautiful Sag? Thank you, Spirit. And what is the outcome? Tap that like and subscribe button if you haven't already. Um, and hit that notification bell. That way it lets me know that you want to see more of these readings. Um, which is very important for me and my channel. So, we have the Magician. So, how you will know who this person is. This is Mercury energy, so they may have Mercury placements in their chart. But this this card, the Magician card, this is someone who is an all-rounder. Someone who is a powerful manifester. They know what they want in life. The way you will know who this person is, they're very driven. They're goal-oriented. They know, they're chasing their dreams and their goals. They're not afraid to go after what they truly desire. That's how you will know who this person is. Could also have Aries placement, so another fellow um, fire sign. That is also highly very possible here with this new person. Seven of Cups. So what they're offering you is they're offering you a option to... They, they, they're extending an offer to you, basically, with the Seven of Cups. Um, now, with the Seven of Cups, they could be giving multiple offers to other people as well. But I feel like they are cutting, because with the edit, you can see the scissors. I feel like they're cutting out a lot of the other offers, and they want to make you a genuine offer. So let's see, what's the outcome between you and this new person? Wow! Taking the leap. So this is your very strong Aries energy. So Sag, you might be dealing with an Aries or they may have Aries placements in their chart because the full card is very much the Aries energy. This is the beginning. They want to start. This new person wants to make a fresh start. This is someone that you don't know, someone brand new who wants to have a brand spanking new start with you. They have cut through all these other things that don't work for them and they genuinely want to come forward with a new offer oh my goodness this this person the other thing six of six of cups the way you will know also about this person this new person is it will make you feel like you've known each other forever the, you will do things that make you feel nostalgic together there may be you know maybe there are certain things certain foods that you like or certain places that you visit that have a fond memory for you and hold a special place and this person is going to take you to those places and it's almost like you will feel instantaneously that you've known each other forever there is this clicking of energy and just this beautiful dance this is really, really beautiful i'm loving this new energy and vibe for you sagittarius i feel like this is someone really solid you've got two major arcanas with the magician card and the full card showing up here so this is a brand spanking new beginning and chapter for both of you, not just for one of you. And this is fresh, new, exciting. At the same time, it will feel familiar. There's this level of trust and knowingness that I feel for both of you. So this is really, really beautiful. I am loving this for you, Sag. Let me know in comments. Okay, so now let's move to the person on your mind that you already know. So this is someone you've already dealt with, you already know, you've had history with. Um, let's see. So, who is this person on Sage, Sage's mind? Who is this person? Three cards want to come out. Let's see. What's their intention? What's their intention? Okay, this wants to fly out. And what's the outcome? What's the outcome between these three? What's the outcome, Spirit? Thank you. Okay. So let's see. You've got three cards. Okay. So the four of um, swords. So four of swords showing up. Four of mirrors. That to me straight away is saying to me that this is someone that you are. There is no contact situation. Um, you not. You may be separated, not living together. That's what I'm picking up. Yeah. There has been a major ending. I mean, this person. You with these two cards right here. You could have literally been in a long-term relationship, connection, and 
there is as I said no contact situation but also a major ending for some of you this was someone like two tens showing up this is pretty big this to me is saying that um, you might have been engaged married living together um, with the ten of Pentacles and the ten of swords so this is high level commitment and if you weren't married then this is telling me that you are either engaged living together or you know you had shared assets and shared way of living with the ten of pentacles so that's how you know who this person is what's their intention oh queen of swords so to me this is all about the intention is it literally says the biatch we'll keep this um pg rated channel so basically their intention is they don't want anything to do with you basically that's their intention and um, they may not be very nice in terms of um, how they communicate about you to other people because the queen of um, swords she's very she they may use humor and wit to try and get away with things but basically their intention is they don't want anything to do with you they've cut that sword they've cut that connection and that's what it is so let's see what's in the outcome ah so they just what yeah they it, look the three of this is the three of cups so the three of cups showing up in the outcome this is to me saying that maybe you have shared children custody of children pets um which is why there's just this friendly you know here to make friends but not really deep friendship you know is what i'm picking up with the queen of swords yeah and the seven of um pentacles so these two cards right here to me you know this this here there was a lot of history a lot of patience a lot of persistence but now if you have to me this this in the advice position or the outcome position is saying that really you will just be keeping things above board and friendly because you have shared custody of children or pets or you have to see each other for that but if this is not to you know to continue down and and rekindle something particularly because you've had major ending now for very very small percentage of you this this is a second storyline very small percentage not majority of you if you really really want to make it work with this person all cards will have to be laid on the table like everything has all the dirty laundry will need to be aired and aired fully and it will require a lot of patience and persistence and commitment to keep going and um to be together so that's another that's you know for a very small percentage of you if you really want to do the work because you've had a major ending with this person it's really that question of everything will have to be laid out on the table and aired out before this can work in the future. So you let me know, Sedge, what which one it is for you in comments. But wow, what a powerful read for you here. Please tap that notification bell and hit subscribe so you know when the next reading becomes available. And it also lets me know that you want to see more of these readings. And Sedge, remember, the power that is you by being you now and i will see you next time